Hi, remember in English class when we made the grid games? Well, I'm going to go over the rules with you again so that this would just be a fun game that you could play. The first thing you need to do is make a grid. Use some graph paper so that you have a grid like this. They don't have to be perfect squares by any means, but make sure that you have some squares. And then you need to pick a topic. Zoo animals, pizza places, types of cars. And I have one here that we had done in class. And we did food, shoes, restaurants, TV shows, movies, sports, athletes, animals, singers, cities, countries, cars. And then the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to have one person start. And the best thing that they can do is start in the middle. Take turns, so you must connect the letters like a crossword puzzle. So if I were going to do this, I would start right here in the middle. And this one is countries. So we picked... And we said we're going to do South Africa, okay? So South Africa is here. And then you would go Australia, Switzerland, and Costa Rica. And the longer they are, the more letters you use, the more points that you will get. Um, then the next rule is that all words cannot have letters next to each other so that they would create non-words. And an example of this is if I had taken South Africa and then I put Russia right next to it. All of these letters are great, okay? But when I look over here, see the I and the S and the R and the U? Right here and here and here and here. Those are not countries, so you couldn't do it. But you could put Russia over here. And then you could put France down the middle. So if your letters are over here and they're lining up, then they're wrong. This would not count as Russia for a word at all. You would have to move it down. Okay. Then the next one I said would possibly use pen or pencil so that you could tell whose words were whose. And then the most words will win. You can score it two ways. The most words will win or the most letters used and spaces would win. I would do the most letters because you're in eighth grade. Uh, try this with your friends at home, family members. Uh, you could play this one online. You do not need to um, be in the same room to do this, but um, please give this a try. This is just a vocabulary builder, and we are going to do this crossword thing um, at home, and we've done this in class, so this should all be review, and it does get very frustrating. Vicente, I remember beating you. See you later. Bye.